guys how's it going it's me megan and this is sunday and i she was sleeping here for so long and i was hoping she would stay but she did not she decided to get up but yeah i am back with another video i know this is not my normal sunday video and you know long time no see it's been a crazy couple of last months um, but if you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. All right, I already decided to change because I already knew I was going to be far too warm in that sweater. Um, and I thought this would be a little bit more, you know, festive. There's a stain on it. Sorry about that. Um... And yeah, I haven't gotten to film too many videos this October, so I'm gonna fit all my Halloween stuff into one video. This is just a cup of water. <laughs> That's how much I wanted to show you guys my Halloween mug. I'm pretty sure my cat also just drank out of this. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be doing a bins haul. As you can see, I have like Ikea bags all around me. But I went, I think at this point, like two weeks ago maybe, um, and I just wanted to share with you guys what I picked up. I'm not doing a What's Sold Sunday video this week because next Sunday I just plan to kind of do a recap of like all my best sales in October since I didn't do any What's Sold Sunday videos and that way you'll kind of get the gist of it all. Um, but as far as this bins trip went, I already had a couple of sales. I will pop them up on the screen and I will also put how much they sold. <laughs> Like you'll see in the listing um but like the net amount that i made on the screen because i don't have them written down and in front of me but i sold this nike men's full zip coat i used to live in portland a lot of you guys might remember that um and that's where nike is headquartered so i used to find a lot of nike and i'm decently good with kind of knowing what pieces have value. Um, this I was kind of hoping was a Nike Tech piece. I did look it up when I was at the bins and it wasn't Nike Tech items. I guess it's kind of like a certain material, but they can sell for good money. And I've sold them, you know, for a hundred and a little over a hundred in the past. But this was just kind of like a nice simple knit coat that um, I think is still technically for sale on a lot of websites. And they always date the items. They have codes on the inner tag that are really easy to look up. So you can do that when you're, you know, sourcing. And I want to say it sold for like $34. I decided not to list it too high. I wanted to get a quick sale. I've been trying to be a lot better about that. Um, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you probably know I list rather high. I list on the high end of comps a lot because I'm constantly sending out offers specifically on Poshmark um but like on all platforms for at least 10 percent and then sometimes we'll do 20 and 30 percent but I have cleared out since I've been home um you guys might remember I was gone in Connecticut for pretty much all of September so I've been home for about a month um I was there because my sister was pregnant and she had the most beautiful perfect little girl um that I miss so much. I've been home for about a month. Um, I literally got to see her for like a day, but the baby, not my sister, but the baby. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to go back and see her. But anyway, um, when I got back, I just kind of was in this working mode because for the most part, besides sourcing, I really did not do a lot when I was in Connecticut. Um, and I just was excited to get back to work. I cleaned up my closet a lot and I just realized, you know, I need to be lowering the price of some of these things that I've had for a long time and just in general be more realistic with my pricing to get some quicker sales. Long story short. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of price this to sell and it did end up selling, um, I'd say probably within a week. And then I just sold this other mini skirt. This was actually on Depop. The brand is The Crypt. Um, I just kind of thought it was kind of like a stylish piece. I didn't know if it was actually from the early 2000s, but I looked up the brand. Some things can sell well, um, like on the higher end, but I think based on style and a little bit on the brand, I did decide to take this home. It was like a skirt, like a really mini skirt, and it got a lot of attention on Depop, and I think it actually ended up selling for what I had it listed for, which was, I think, $29.00. Um, and I probably made about 24 after. Again, it'll be on the screen. And then the last thing I believe that I sold so far was this Fraggle Rock graphic tee. This also sold really recently. 
on Depop. This did have a lot of wear to it, but from being on TikTok, I kind of know that people love like the Muppet things. I don't even know if these are technically the Muppets or part of that franchise. I think they are. I was never really a Muppets or Sesame Street fan. Are those the same thing? I'm not even sure growing up, but I do know Fraggle Rock is some like childhood thing that a lot of people like according to TikTok. So I saw this, it was not in great condition. It had a lot of wash wear, but it was a really cute graphic tee and I just made sure to list it reasonably and take good photos of it. And it sold on Depop again within probably like a week. So that again was a really great flip. But I wanna say that's what I've sold so far. If I'm wrong, I will insert <laughs> what else I've sold so far here, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I did actually forget to mention that I picked up and sold this Everlane button up. It actually was 100% silk, so that was super exciting. I feel like besides jeans and maybe jackets and shoes, um, Everlane, their more substantial pieces like silk and cashmere actually sell really well and really quickly. And I was very excited to find this piece and have it sell so fast especially because it was a size zero. It ended up selling for $32 on Poshmark and after fees, I made $23.58. And I don't have the receipt with me. As you could tell, I'm super unprepared, but I'll put it up on the screen how much I paid for all these items. I wanna say it was about $86 for all these pieces, so not too bad. These are all clothes. I didn't buy any shoes this day, but I will be filming another Bins haul, maybe today, maybe not today. Because <laughs> um, I also just went recently this last week and I found some really amazing items, some brands that I haven't really found before or, um, you know, never found out the bins before, which is really exciting. But anyway, I'll just get into this one. <laughs> so this is a really cute maxi white dress. It's textured. It's really cute style, like with the call it empire waist like really high up this definitely would have sold a lot better in the summer um and now we're heading into fall i still think this could be dressed up real cute for the fall with like um a hat <laughs> not like a baseball hat but like like a cowboy hat i guess or a flat brim hat and then some cowboy boots i think this could still be dressed up for fall especially in a warmer climate this is the brand mango I kind of see this as similar to Zara, um, but again, the mango stuff I received or have listed recently, I think I've just priced far too high. So I think I tried to be a little bit more reasonable with this. I don't remember what I listed it for, but I should put all the listings up on the screen or you know, they should be there if they're listed. It's a size six, but it's definitely very oversized and maxi dresses are very trendy. I'd say maxi dresses might depending on the style, be a little bit more trendy than midi dresses. Um, as long as they're not like formal dresses, which I actually have a couple of <laughs> coming up. Um, this is just kind of a bread and butter brand to me. I don't know if I have this listed yet. I know I took pictures and measurements, but I don't know if I actually ended up listing it yet. But this is a very teeny tiny dress, if you could believe it. I would consider it more of a tunic top, but it is technically a dress. It's Brandy Melville. They do one size fits all for most, if not all their pieces. And even if they do have a size, they're usually a size small. Even if they're like, this is a size medium, it's still like a smaller and extra small. Um, but it's still a pretty trendy brand for younger people. Again, not the best season, but it is a dark floral. So it would be nice. Um, for somebody that probably lives in a warmer climate during the fall. And yeah, I'm not expecting too much for that, but I mean, it's, I just sold a Brandy Melville piece today that I found at the bins, it was like a sweater. So I do pick it up and I see it there. This is a Vince piece. This is a size large, it's just cotton and it was made in Peru, but it is so soft and so nice. It's a men's piece. I've actually been picking up men's pieces more than I usually have. I used to sell it a decent amount in the past, but I kind of stopped because I don't know. It just wasn't, they weren't like men's stuff wasn't selling as well for me. And I'm not gonna lie, the only people I really have problems with 
<laughs> for the most part are like males buying for me and like trying to mansplain to me why I need to sell them something for less. Let me know if that's ever happened to you, but that just happened to me the other day and I just, I don't know. It used to happen to me a lot, but this is really nice. Um, I think originally it was like $95, but Vince kind of like theory, it doesn't resell for the most, um, but I'm hoping because it's a men's piece and it's a nice like casual, neutral that somebody will pick it up. This is a brand that I wouldn't really recommend <laughs> picking up, but it's Cider. It's a 1XL. Cider is kind of like Shein, I think, maybe a little bit better than Shein, um, but it's a fast fashion brand to say the least, and it's not very expensive to begin with, but I really love the style of it. It's like a corset. Oh, are you going to sit there? A corset maroon kind of color, a red um, jumpsuit straight leg wide leg jumpsuit I thought this was a really nice piece it's in great condition it's a great size and it's gonna be great for the holidays for somebody to wear I'm sure um and that's pretty much why I picked it up I'm not expecting a lot from it but I am thinking that somebody will love that piece and it will sell decently well so here's one of those gowns <laughs> that I got this is a Lulu's dress. Now, I do pick up Lulu's almost every time I see it at the bins. It did well for me, I'd say last year. I was selling a lot of it, but it's kind of died down. A lot of my dress sales have kind of died down, so I should be a bit more picky about picking up dresses, but I just love to sell dresses. This is maxi length gown. These are also Lulu's pieces, pretty easy to look up styles. Um, they have codes on the inside. This one's a size small. Um, this actually is getting a decent amount of attention. If this was like a year ago, I honestly probably have some other Lulu's gowns that I have listed rather high. I list that at 45 because I know people like to buy Lulu's dresses. Um, you know, right out, they're not that expensive for what they are. They're not the best high quality, but they're not, my cat just started to drink my water again. Um, they're not that expensive for somebody that has money. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I think that dress is probably originally like 90 something. So if you could get it for 45 and then probably on a discount because I send discounts out all the time, that's probably going to be worth it. I even have it cross-listed on eBay and I had a watch on it really fast. So fingers crossed that it sells soon. Here is another dress. This one I was actually surprised was still in the bin just because... I think it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know how many resellers actually shop at my bins, which I feel like is a interesting comment to make because you would assume it's like all resellers. And I mean, it could be. Everyone's looking for different things. I know the t-shirt guys are definitely reselling. Um, but I don't know. No one picked this up. It's a really pretty like fit and flare dress, I guess you could say. I think this would be great for the holidays. It's slightly metallic, you can't really tell. But this is a Maeve dress, which is an anthropology brand that I do like to sell. And it's a size 10, which is a great size. And it's in great condition. So I was excited to find that. I'm always excited to find anthropology in the bins. It's kind of something that I wouldn't pass on, even if it um, isn't the most substantial piece. I just have a hard time saying no, kind of like free people. <laughs> All right, this was also a Lulu's dress and I just thought this one was really nice. It's very lightweight. It's not lined, but it's asymmetric and kind of like salsa dancing, <laughs> like that salsa dancing emoji. That would be a great Halloween costume, but it's definitely <laughs> too late for someone to probably get this in time for that. Um, but it's Lulu's and this one's a size medium. I'm pretty sure these were all donated from a Goodwill, like not raw donations, but Goodwill was like getting rid of their dresses. Has a cowl neck. Um, I don't want to say I said that for too high, but again, it should be on the screen. <laughs> Let me show you the last of the Lulu's dresses. This one was probably my favorite. I definitely do better with like most brands, um, selling it in bigger sizes. But this is Lulu's, the tag kind of got cut a little bit. And this one's a size large. This is like a mermaid style and these straps are annoying. <laughs> um, 
has cute little like buttons on the back and then like an open cut out back detail. And this one's lined and this one's in really great condition. And I love the model photos for that. Again, that would be stunning for like a winter wedding or a very fancy winter party because it's, you know, winter Christmas green kind of color. Uh, I've been finding a decent amount of Madewell pants recently at the bins, which is great. I like to sell their pants probably the most and maybe like their sweaters second most, even though it hasn't been doing as well for me as it used to. But these are just a really nice like fall style tapered paper bag pant in like a rust color. Sorry, my lighting's not fabulous. I need to get some better lamps in this house. These are a size four, so they're kind of on the smaller side, but still really great for the season. Probably showing you some of the more exciting things currently, but that's fine. <laughs> Here's a new to me brand. It's called Mercy and um, kind of like a play on words. This is a one size piece, but it's like a terry cloth. I'm sure it's like a like a swim cover of some sort. But this brand actually seems to have a pretty good following. Um, again, I have like, I think one watcher on this on eBay. Um, and if you sell on eBay, then you know you can like sell internationally. So maybe it's not summer here, but you know, it's summer somewhere in the world. And a lot of people will go on vacations year round. Maybe they, you know, just got a hot tub. Maybe they live in a place that's never cold, like Florida, I imagine. <laughs> um, and so somebody might be looking for something like that. I really love the color. Yellow is my favorite color. And I think I actually listed that for 40. So we'll see what happens with that. This had no tag. The tag was cut out and then the inside tag was cut out. So I was like, oh, that's, yeah, I have no idea what that is. But then I really liked it. It's a wide leg kind of bandana print I'd say um jumpsuit and it has like technically slits in the side but you're supposed to tie them I don't know but I was just still kind of looking at it and then I saw the print um and the print actually says Savage X which I'm like is that Savage X Fenty which is I don't know if Rihanna still technically owns it I feel like I heard that she stepped away from it but started by Rihanna Rihanna's lingerie line um, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take that home. And then I just kind of searched for it, you know, Savage X Fenty jumpsuit. And this is from them, which is really cool. I had to take measurements um, and kind of guesstimate sizing, but it is getting a decent amount of attention on Poshmark, which is really nice. I have sold that brand a few times. I feel like I find it at the bins um, the most out of anywhere, but yeah, I, I mean, I like Rihanna and I know people like that brand. So here's a brand I've sold several times and I have paid up for. And I recently found when I was in Connecticut and I was like, oh, that's so funny. I haven't found that brand in such a long time, probably like two years. And it was a jumpsuit, the one I found in Connecticut and I probably paid up for it. But this I found at the bins. I wouldn't say this is the most stylish dress, like currently trendy. It's a navy blue with then like a black, um, I forgot what they called this, ladder lace, I don't know, uh, overlay, and then kind of like the see-through part in the middle, but it's the brand Likely, this is a size six, this brand I want to say is sold on Revolve, um, and yeah, I did well with the dresses I found in the past, granted they were probably a bit more trendy, that jumpsuit is getting attention, but I probably have it listed a little high. I want to say I listed that reasonably, but I'm not sure. Then I got another maxi dress. This one I had a stain treat, and I think they came out. I don't have it listed yet, but I'll probably list it today. Again, it's more of a spring summer piece, but um, this is a J. Crew size medium, just tiered cotton, light blue. Maxi dress, I want to say, maybe midi. Um, tiered dresses are very trendy right now, so I was excited to see that, and I pretty much almost always pick up J. Crew pieces at the bins, especially if they're substantial. Maybe I want to pick up, like, a plain t-shirt, but maybe I would. I don't know. <laughs> Here is a dress that is still kind of a work in progress. I don't have it listed yet. 
Um, and it's technically a designer brand. It's the Couples. I have not had the best luck selling this in the past. The first time I ever sold it, I sold it, um, it was a leather belt and that sold really quickly and really well. Um, but everything past that just hasn't. It's expensive to begin with, but I don't think it has the best value in the resale market. But since it was at the bins, I did decide to pick it up. This would be a great um, Christmas dress as well. But I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because again, my, my lighting's not great, but, and I can't even really see it. Okay, here, there is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but there's a dark mark here. I stain treated it once, it got lighter. I stain treated it again, it got lighter, but I'll give it one more try. <laughs> and if not, I don't know. I guess I'll just donate it again. It's not gonna get me that much probably. And I don't think it's gonna be worth trying a hundred times or selling it with a stain. So we'll see about that. This also had no label up here, but it felt really nice. And I looked at the inner tag and a lot of the times, um, I know people say, look at the inner tag and look up the RN number. A lot of times nicer brands will actually just write the brand name in the inner tag. Sometimes it'll be like their headquarters address or whatever. I'll say like imported by Anthropology or um, J. Crew, New York, whatever. But this actually had the brand name on the inner tag when I flipped it up and it's Draper James. I don't know if you can see that, if it's gonna focus. <laughs> But that's Reese Witherspoon's brand. Um, I find it actually a decent amount at the bins. I don't know if I've found it anywhere else, but I think it can do well. I haven't had the best of luck. Like some people were like saying that this was a great bolo brand. Um, again, I pick it up at the bins, but I haven't had like the best of luck with it. But anyway, I'm always excited to find it. And yeah, it's a really nice style. It's from fall of, I just read it. 2018 so it's a little bit dated but still in really great condition and there was no size unfortunately so I took measurements and I think it's like a size 12 10 or 12 I can't remember I want you guys to see Sunday so I'll sit like this oh and this is another piece I haven't listed yet it's very interesting um I don't know if it'll be listed by the time this video goes out it needs like a sweater shave and I don't even know what else, but it's um, a long line knit sweater. It's actually very pretty. It's just like a bunch of different colors that I don't even think are picking up on the screen. Um, there's belt loops, but no belt. But all the other listings I've seen of this piece also don't have the belt. It is a free people piece and it's a size small. Um, and it's just a heavy knit sweater. Maybe I'll try and list this today. Um, I probably won't list it for much because it's not in the best condition, but it is a wool blend and it's definitely older, <laughs> but it's actually really, really cute. And people I think are loving this, like, I don't even know what you'd call this, kind of like a, sh not a shawl collar, but a collar like that has been very trendy. So, wow, that's heavy. <sighs> not sure what I'll list that at maybe in the $40 range. <laughs> then I picked up a lot of kids stuff. <laughs> it's really hard to not pick up kids stuff now that I do have a niece, um, but she's not gonna fit into any of this for a while. <laughs> so I'll just pick it up and try and sell it. This is Magpie and Mabel, it's a size two. I've heard good things about this brand um, and kids clothing. I didn't list it for very much. I thought it was cute, it has these little frogs. <laughs> on the skirt. Um, again, I don't know if that's seasonally appropriate, but I picked it up. This is a kid's brand that I do enjoy selling. It's Hannah Anderson. It's a size three. And I just thought this was the perfect style for right now. It's like Y2K. It's a score. It's a tiered denim mini skirt score. I just said, um, yeah, Hannah Anderson does pretty well for me. Not everything from them like does super well and it is just kids clothes so it's not gonna like get you hundreds of dollars but I pick it up when I see it at the bins this is another little girl's dress 
Um, and I hadn't heard about this brand, but it was with those other pieces. So I thought, why not, you know, take it home and try it out. It's Bella Rose. It's a size four. This is definitely more of a summer dress. Comps weren't like, there weren't a lot of comps. There weren't a lot listed, but this brand, like this dress was probably originally like a hundred plus dollars, which is interesting. I think it's like a British brand, but comps were like 20 maybe, maybe less. So I don't know about that. <laughs> I listed it and yeah, we'll see. Kid stuff's easy for me to store. This is the brand Stem. I meant to look this up before I left the bins, but I really liked this. Again, it was with those other pieces, size two, like a gauzy pink little dress. I don't know if I found out too much about this brand. I think it might be sold at Nordstrom, but again, probably 20 or less <laughs> dollars. <laughs> this again, I was um, surprised to see still in a bin. It's a really, really nice linen top. Again, would have sold probably really quickly in the summer. The print is really hard to see. It's kind of like coral almost, <laughs> but it's very pretty colors. And it's Pilcro, which is, I think what Pilcro in the letter press now goes by, size medium. This brand is sold at Anthropology. I will 100% pick it up at the bins anytime I see it in good condition. Um, and yeah, that's listed. I might be sitting on that for a while until next summer, but I don't know, we'll see. Again, people go on vacation all the time. Another little girl's jacket. This I wanna to give to my sister so bad, but it's size 18 to 24 months and my niece is one month old. And I don't wanna bombard my sister with clothing, but this is Baby Bowden. Another kid's brand I do like to sell, or is it Mini Bowden? No, Baby Bowden. Just a nice quilted little girl's jacket with this floral print, love that. This I got because like beer stuff has just been so trendy, like on Depop and everything. Um, it says the beers of America and it just has a bunch of different beers on it. I thought some college kid would like these. Um, the brand is Brief Insanity, which I thought was funny, funny name, a size large. These don't sell for too much to begin with. So I'm not really expecting too much um, resell wise, but I think that'll sell pretty soon. Also, like during the winter season, I feel like pajamas sell pretty well. This I bought based on style. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It's called Tally Ho. It's just 100% acrylic. And it's this really nice like knit cardigan with this leopard print and these fun buttons. They kind of look like coach buttons or, yeah. Um, but when I looked this up, when I got home, it there's actually like a ton of these listed. So I don't know about that, but I listed it anyway. Here's another free people piece. Now uh, this one's a size six. Not particularly trendy currently, but it's a very nice color, I think for fall. I'm not expecting a lot for that either, but like I said, free people's hard for me to pass up on um, at the bins. This was a linen piece. Again, probably would have been better in the summer, but it's a brand I hadn't heard of before. It's Francesca Bettini, made in Italy, and I do pretty well with linen pieces. <laughs> that were specifically made in Italy. I also got a ton of attention recently on a Y2K white linen gap dress on Depop. And this is actually doing really well on there as well. A lot of attention. I wanna say it's like midi length and it has these side slits. It's really pretty, really cute. And I actually got another dress that I haven't listed yet from this brand. <laughs> this one is in a light pink color. Um, this is just, I think, a little bit less of a trendy style and this one's actually an extra small, but still kind of the same, almost silhouette with these ruffly sleeves. This one I haven't listed yet, but it'll probably be like a $20 sale. This one I think I've listed for 30 something or other. <laughs> I also haven't listed these yet because I need to uh, sweater shave them a little bit but these are a north face pair of leggings I thought they were lululemon at first because they look like it not necessarily 
feel like it, but these are a women's medium and I do like to pick up North Face pieces at the bins when I see them. It's a brand I do like to sell. Here's a new to me brand. I like the style of this. Again, more of a summery piece. So I might be sitting on it and I don't really know how popular this brand is, but I thought I'd try it out. The brand's called Alexia Admor, A-D-M-O-R. Very shiny. It's a size two, but it's definitely could probably fit a couple sizes up because it's a lace up back of the stretchy waist and that's the top and it's technically connected and you'll see it in the model photo on the screen. Thank God I found one because this dress is just a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, again, I don't think I listed for too much, but I thought it was cute. Here's a Zara piece. I also pick up pretty much anything Zara at the bins just because some of, some of it can sell pretty well. This is a US medium. It's kind of like Asian inspired, black satin floral, pretty cute. Again, pretty easy as long as the inner tag is in there to find like a model photo for it or a style name. And sometimes those pieces can be blogger favorites and worth more, but I don't think that's one of them. Did I list this? I might've listed this. This is kind of like a retro oversized Levi's um, denim button up, which is always pretty trendy during fall, the denim button ups. It's a size medium. It's really big for a men's medium. And there is a couple of like poles in the seams that are like almost holes that I noted. So I didn't list this for too much. Again, I mostly got it based on style and it being, you know, Levi's, which is a decent denim brand that people know and trust. This is like a cute little retro Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Tea. I've been picking up a lot of vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren recently. Um, not for any particular reason, but I don't know. It's been doing kind of well for me. This is a medium. I just liked that the stripes on the sleeves were a different um, size than the stripes here, and it's brown, and it has a little embroidery, and it's, you know, probably from the early 2000s, and I think they'll probably do well on Depop. And then here's another Zara piece. This is Zara Basic and it's a size extra small, but very oversized. And I love polka dots, but I specifically liked this because these are like textured, like 3D, not Sherpa, but I don't know, like a pom-pom kind of. It is sheer, but it is very cute. I like that a lot. These I don't know if I'm gonna list. I think I will. They are kind of worn in, but they're Stetson. And I think what, their hats sell really well, maybe their shoes, but I've never found anything in this brand before. So I thought I would try these out. They're a size six long and they do have a style, which is nice. They're called the City Trouser. And they are like um, a boot cut, I guess. The dirt came out pretty well, but there is like, you know, just wear to the bottoms as a lot of like boot cut jeans I feel like have that have been worn, um, but we'll see about that. Not listed yet. This is kind of my bag of unlisted things. This I was excited to find. This is a Tommy Bahama silk shirt and I was excited to find it because someone else on YouTube recently sold one of these for a good amount of money. They had like a graphic drink embroidery on the back, but this had some stains. It said I could wash it and I did, but I don't know if it created more stains or um, those stains were there and I never saw them, but I don't know if I want to list it as is or try and wash it again. So that's a maybe. This also, I need a stain treat. I washed it, but then there was actually stains in it. So I need to stain treat it. But it's a cute little Playboy <laughs> mock neck sweater. Very tempted to keep it. Talked about it before, but just like the Playboy bunny logo. <laughs> it's just like nostalgia for me. Early 2000s nostalgia. Um, but it's from the Playboy and PacSun collab, which I've found a few times at the bins. And I'm not actually so sure if any of, it's, of it has sold yet, even though I find it very cute. Maybe I have it listed too high because I like it so much, but... Then I found a couple of Gymshark leggings, which I feel like a lot of people would be excited about, but I've never done well with this brand. Um, I literally have a pair of their leggings that I've had for maybe two years that 
get no attention slash won't sell. I should just try and take them to Plato's Closet even though I've not had good luck selling stuff to Plato's Closet, but I imagine they would take Gymshark. Um, one of these had a size and one of these didn't. Uh, I think these are the ones that didn't, but I imagine they're both from the same person. So I think they're both size extra small. These aren't listed yet just because, I don't know, I'm not super excited to list them just for them to never sell, but I will get to it. These ones are a little bit different. Um, they say Gymshark. They don't have the logo there, but they say Gymshark. These ones were the ones with the tag that said extra small. Maybe I'll lock them together. Here's a hat I didn't list. Comps looked good when I was at the bins, but when I got it home, they weren't great. Oh, there's also a hole. Maybe I won't list this, <laughs> but it's kind of a cute felt wool hat. It is 100% wool and it's by the brand Rising Tide. I don't know. It doesn't excite me now that I have it home, but we'll see. It'll be easy to photograph in the store, but I don't know. These also need a sweater shade and I haven't listed them yet, but I've heard people talk well about this brand it's the brand kappa k-a-p-p-a -P -P -A. this one's a size medium i imagine a men's medium maybe and it has like this is their logo down the side and on the front it just needs a sweater shave um i don't think comps are super high for that brand but i was excited to find it because i've never sold it before and then this i don't know why i haven't listed this yet i think i just need to photograph it and it'll be pretty easy to list but it is a bra <laughs> a bra it's blue tie-dye and it's from Cacique <laughs> I feel like I always say that name wrong it's um Lane Bryant's lingerie brand I guess I think they make I've sold their sleepwear before I've sold their bras before this is a size 38k don't know if that's a popular size but if it's in good condition, I'll usually pick it up from the bins. Pretty sure people look at me weird like, are you buying your, that bra for yourself? Like that's what, that's not gonna fit you, but whatever. Um, and then this is Logo Layers, which is logo by Lori Goldschmied, gold something. I think this is just kind of like a slip, but it's really cute. It has this pretty tool. It's very ballet core. You could wear it, I guess, as a tunic if you wanted to. What size was this? Extra large. I just haven't gotten around to listing that yet. All right, this is the last bag of stuff. I felt like I was going quickly, but I don't think I'm going very quickly anymore. Um, this is Princess Polly, kind of a fast fashion brand, but I do like to pick it up um, at the bins. It's a US size four, and it's a really cute little tie front crop top. This is one of those things I would imagine Plato's Closet would take, but I think they hate me there because I'm old, so maybe they wouldn't. This I was excited to find. It's just a base layer. Um, this one's from Patagonia. It's not in the best condition, but if you wear this, especially like under clothes, like as a base layer, you wouldn't even see it. It's a woman's size small, definitely a little bit older, but I don't pass up on Patagonia at the bins. That's for sure. Here is a new to me brand that I have heard good things about, but I don't think this is actually technically worth anything really, but I had never found this brand before, so I picked it up. It's Finders Keepers. It's a size small and it's like a geometric print satin high-low tank top. Very <laughs> like 2013, I'd say. Um, but Finders Keepers, I think is technically a very expensive brand. I just think that that's an old, not very stylish piece. Here are a pair of Madewell jeans. I've been happy to find some better brands of jeans at the bins recently. I just, I don't know if people are buying up all the denim or nobody's really donating denim, but I, like all the denim I do see are like really cheap brands. Um, so when I find things like Madewell, I definitely get really excited. Even again, it doesn't sell super well for me um, or as well as it used to, but these are the perfect vintage jean. These are size 28. So a decent size. These did just have some like weird purple discoloration on the front, but luckily um, it came out really easily and I have those listed. That's why I kind of like finding like nice pieces that have stains on them because I imagine that's why other people, you know, pass them up, but I don't mind 
um, taking them home and stain treating them and hoping for the best. This I thought was cute. It's an Urban Outfitters, which again, is just a brand I usually pick up at the bins. Size small, wrap front top with these like bell sleeves. If I had this like a month ago, I'm sure it would have sold a lot faster because it's very like witchy, but it's still a nice basic that I think somebody will get. I love finding athletic skirts at the bins, especially when they're Nike. This one's purple. Again, probably more spring, summer, but I'm sure someone's playing tennis somewhere. Uh, size small, cute, dry fit skirt. What's this? This is kind of, this is a newer to me brand. Um, it's Hello Molly and I actually found a dress in Connecticut and that was the first time I had heard of the brand. This is a size four um, and I bought it, I don't know for how much, I don't think too much, but this finding it at the bins I think was, you know, a lot nicer because obviously it's like paying like a dollar for something and still getting to try out the brand. And this one I actually found a model photo for and everything, which was great. I think I listed this for 40, so we'll see. Again, probably more of a summer dress, but with the right accessories, I think this is, you know, could be very Western. Um, and it's kind of, I'd say like Princess Polly where it doesn't feel super expensive, but it has a good following, I imagine. And their stuff sells for a lot like retail. So I think it's just one of those brands that kind of holds its resale value based on style. This was just like a random beret, another hat, but this one was 76% rabbit hair, 4% wool, and then 20% nylon. It did have an RN number, but it just brought me to Target. And yeah, I don't know. I couldn't find anything like this that Target had sold. So I don't know if it's older. I don't know if it's something else. I just listed it unbranded and hopefully that the material will help it sell. Oh, here's another kid, pair of kids clothes, pair of pants. This one was Bowden as well. This one's a 13 year, which is the size I imagine. Um, but not like a 13 year old. So I don't know. That's what I didn't understand. I don't, I don't have a kid. So obviously I have no idea what kid sizing is. So. I'm sure who does have a kid will know what that is when they're buying it. Uh, this is just another J. Crew piece. This one was actually a, a newer style, so I don't know if that's a newer label or just, you know, a random different type of label that they've been doing. But this is like a boat neck pink striped schlub, schlub shirt. I guess that's what you call it. Size small, oversized, cute ballet Barbie vibes. Here's a brand I don't always pick up, but I did like the style on this. It's Merrill. I think their shoes probably do better than their clothes, at least for me. It's a men's size large. It's just a nice full zip athletic jacket in red. I don't think I listed that for too much. Here is a Bryn Walker piece. I know some people really like to find this and sell it. I've only found it in linen, um, but this is... What was this? Bamboo, a bamboo blend, which I thought might help it sell. It's also asymmetric, which is kind of interesting. Um, and it's stretchy and it's really high quality and it's a size small, but it's very oversized. Um, I don't think that's actually getting a lot of attention, but we'll have to see. I didn't really know what to list it at, so I think I listed it at 40. Oh, these I think I actually was gonna give to my sister. I don't know how these ended up at the bottom of this bag. Mm, but again, they're in 18 to 24 months and she's one month old, but they're Zara and they're Mickey shorts. Look how precious. And it says Mickey Mouse with the Mickeys in the back. I'll have to look those up because again, they're not gonna fit my niece for a very long time. I should just start like um, a bin or something of like, different age things that, so I could just send it to her when she's that age and she'll have a bunch of clothes. Um, but anyway, these are Pottery Barn teen, I guess. I think I just listed them as an adult size and, um, you know, took measurements because I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't know what a teen size would be on like Poshmark, but they're Harry Potter. And I've seen some people sell Pottery Barn, like loungewear or pajamas, robes, I think for really good money. And 
This was technically a set, which I imagined it was, but I only found the pants at the bins. Um, but the set, I think it might still be for sale on Pottery Barn, um, whether it is or it's sold out. It was originally, like the full set was originally $99. And I know people love Harry Potter. I'm very picky when I see Harry Potter things at the bins. I try and just get the more like high quality or unique pieces. Um, and this is definitely like a high quality piece. I think that will definitely sell at least around Christmas time, if not soon. All right, I'm almost done. I have a handful of pieces left. Thanks for sticking with me. This is a Nasty Gal collection piece. This is technically a size zero, which I have no idea why they would size this out of size zero, but it's like a wide arm, kind of heavyweight, piratey, <laughs> boho velvet embroidered piece. Sometimes Nasty Gal can make some high quality pieces and I think they can hold um, a decent amount of value. I know I personally, for, I think it was my, well, obviously my elopement, um, but I got this leather jacket that they made that said, what did it say on the back? Hitched? No. Just married something. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. I don't know why I can't remember. Um, but I like hunted for that because I didn't want to pay the retail price and I ended up finding it on Poshmark for a lot less, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, so some of those pieces might be sought after. This is a Free People one size kimono with these tassels. Really cute. I started finding good things in a bin um, this day when I found this piece, it was like in a bin with some other good pieces and I was getting really excited because I'm like, oh, finally some good pieces. And then they took the bin away and I was so sad and I hate when that happens. It's the worst. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice piece. I don't know what's going on down there. I think it's just a little tangled. Um, but yeah, really nice piece. I don't know who's wearing kimonos, maybe like around their house or whatever, but that seemed to have um, pretty good resale value. So I was excited about that. This I was also extraordinarily excited about. This was missed or ignored by the t-shirt boys. This is a vintage Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, it's not from Disney Parks, but it says Disney character fashions made in the USA size large. And it's single stitch, which is a good sign of, you know, it being vintage and it is, and it's so nice. I do have this listed on the high end. Um, speaking about mansplaining, this was when somebody was mansplaining to me that they saw it cheaper on eBay and that I should sell it for less. And I'm like, I just I hate when people say that specifically because I just want to say, then buy it on eBay. Like there's some reason why you want to buy mine. Maybe I have better ratings or mine's better quality. But it's like, if you find it cheaper somewhere else, why try to convince me to sell it cheaper when you can just buy it from someone else cheaper, you know? So I just don't respond usually, but that's my thinking in my head. <laughs> Here was another great find. This someone definitely just left like on top of a bag, um, bin, not bag, but it's a snowboarding jacket of a brand I do like to sell. I think I've mostly just found this at the bins, honestly but it's Burton. This is a woman's size extra large, so a great size, great colorway. I am absolutely obsessed. I did debate keeping this, but I, because every year I convince myself that I'm gonna like try to snowboard or ski or something, and I haven't, and I probably never will, so <laughs> I'm just gonna sell that. I think I have it listed for 80, and it is getting a decent amount of attention. I've sold another one that I found at the bins a couple of years ago for 100. So definitely the higher quality ones are worth more. There's others that I found that have been older or just like less substantial that have sold for a lot less. So definitely a style thing, like the better the style, the more you'll get. But I am excited about that. And then this is actually the first time I found this brand and this I found right before they took that bin away. I found this with the Free People kimono and I just wanted to cry because I wanted to look through that bin so bad, but I'm glad I at least saved these. This is the brand that I, I've heard a lot of people talk about I had never found before. Anin Bing, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what the label looks like. I was really excited because they're just a really cute um, pair of trousers, pleated trousers, which is still 
super trendy. They are an extra small, so on the smaller side, and they're a polyester viscose elastane blend, which I was surprised about because I'm pretty sure this brand's really expensive and I expected them to be wool or another really nice like fabric content, but they weren't. Um, but I do have them for $99. They're like the Becky trouser, I want to say, which is my sister's name, which is funny. Um, but we'll see. I might have them listed too high. I might just need to, you know, take an offer, but we'll see. Um, I haven't listed for too long and they're getting a lot of views on eBay. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff that I got at the bins that day. Uh, I'll try and film my other bins haul either today or soon so you can see that as well. I know you guys are still looking out for my last um, bulk box unboxing video, which I'll hopefully also have out this week. Um, sorry that that's been taking like two, three months to post. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed you guys. I've missed making these videos. Sunday has missed you guys, despite what it may look like. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great time sourcing and selling, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Bye.